Okay, this is Robert Newman. I am doing a tutorial on PPC campaigns. There's a good deal of terminology that can be associated for the same kind of marketing strategy. It can be a brand name campaign that would be associated with Google. Google calls their PPC campaigns AdWords. PPC is an abbreviation stands for pay per click. The concept behind these strategies is simple. It's very similar to geographic farming. You target a series of keywords. You can see the keyword I have entered into Google. In theory, if you are a consumer and you enter this search and you click the search button, you then get your search results. Now with a PPC campaign, typically instead of going to a website, which is what everything on the left hand side of the screen is going to be, you're going to send your traffic to something that's referred to as a landing page. So to be precise, a consumer comes to this page, they have their search results, and let's say they see over here an advertisement that interests them. Typically, there's an art to writing these two sentences also of course the header to the advertisement so the consumer clicks and they travel to a page let's say that these sites have set up a landing page it would look similar to something like this most landing pages are designed to capture information that's really their only function so when a prospect comes to this page, assuming that they want to see listings, they're going to enter their first, their last name, their email address, their phone number, the kind of property that interests them, and any other comments that they might have. When they click the Access All Listings button, they're going to go to a web page. That's usually the client's website. Now, we can send them to any page on the website that we want, including another property search page. This information is emailed to the Realtor. So let's just say that we click the Access All Listings. The prospect travels to the website, and then they would be able to access listings off the website. Now, we can set this up so that the client goes directly to this kind of page, where they then get to search for listings, in essence satisfying the advertisement that they originally saw and giving them access to your listings. But before they have done that, you have had the opportunity to collect their name, email address, and telephone number. The reality of the internet is that for the most part, people will not leave their information unless they have been prompted or asked. Now a good part of the results that you will get off a pay-per-click campaign is going to be centered around the strength of the landing page. How well is it designed? How much does it offer the prospect that's arrived here? This is one of our standard landing pages. You can make complex multi-page landing pages similar to this one where it appears as if you're on a website but when you click some of these buttons again you get the prompt to enter your information. Now these are various types of information capture forms from detailed to basic. Anytime that somebody enters their name and their email address once again it's going to be sent to the realtor thus creating a lead. Now my favorite kind of landing page personally is one where the client actually gets to do a search and once they've done a search they get a few pages of search result search results so they can indeed know that there is valuable information that they can access and the page itself will then ask them to register now if they register they will have the opportunity to enter in the kind of property that they're searching for Thereafter, the actual IDX, the Information Data Exchange System, will actually email them any properties that 
hit that particular MLS, in this ca case the ARM MLS, and it's automatic. The realtor has also sent the same email, giving them the opportunity, if they see an exceptionally promising property, to contact the prospect, set an appointment, and go visit the property. Once somebody has registered with this kind of landing page, there and after they can always come back to the landing page itself and they can log in. There's a lot of exciting things that you can do with landing pages. You can make them in essence one page websites with their own domain name like we have this one set up. If it has a strong domain name and a little bit of text content that matches it, there's even the opportunity to have the page itself start to rank well uh, organically, which is saying that it might show up on the left hand side usually for the one term that matches the domain name. So in other words, search Scottsdale Luxury Homes. So the target that of this particular landing page for the organic traffic is going to be Scottsdale Luxury Homes. That's going to be the keywords that people are looking for, perhaps even search Scottsdale Luxury Homes might be a search that they enter. Either way, the hope is is that after a certain amount of time, the page itself will begin to deliver extra traffic, extra leads to the realtor on its own merits, not just from driving pay-per-click traffic to it. Now there's a number of search engines that you can do this kind of advertising campaign and the, pr the principle is exactly the same. You can be on a multitude of platforms or search engines such as Yahoo or Bing and keep driving the traffic to the same page. It will work universally because what we've done is we've entered in this website address as the destination for traffic coming off the search engine. At the end of the day, you can and should be presented with marketing reports that is going to show you how many impressions that your campaign has had. In other words, how many eyeballs have hit this advertisement, how many have clicked on your advertisement, and taking that and then comparing it to the number of leads that you have, you have what's known as your conversion rate. We hope that we're going to be delivering uh, a 5 to 7 percent conversion rate off a standard landing page and if we customize a landing page for your campaign uh, the results can vary tremendously but we're hoping from anywhere from 5 to 20 percent off a customized landing page. The best results are always obtained with consistent changes over time. You launch a campaign, you look at your results, you retool based upon what the data is is suggesting that you do and you keep doing that until you feel as if you've got a landing page that's converting traffic at the highest possible rate. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and as always we appreciate your business and wish you the best of luck.